Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. The sea can be a beautiful, fascinating thing. More than 70% of the Earth is made up of water, and if we're being honest, water is insanely essential for survival. The five historically-based ocean basins in the world, the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern, house a whole other part of our planet that we are yet to discover. Humankind has only explored so little of the world's waters, about 5%, and some of what we have found has been shocking to say the least. This is 100M, and we are going to be giving you 10 reasons why the deep dark under of the sea is so dangerous. Number 10. Sea Snakes all right, nature, we have a question. Why are you putting these creatures that already terrify us on land in the water? Of course, we aren't gonna get any answers anytime soon. If there's one thing that we have learned as a collective race, it is that mother nature can be beautiful, but sometimes it just seems like she's out to get us. Sea snakes are found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. That is, tropical and subtropical waters of Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and some species are found near coral reefs and mangroves around Queensland and New South Wales. For many years, experts have marveled at these wondrous marine slitherers. The snakes are in the same group with land cobras, but are surprisingly not as vicious as their cousins on land. These creatures are often easygoing as long as you don't encounter them and provoke them. Well, duh! These snakes generally feed on their sea counterparts by killing their prey with the venom in their fangs. This venom right here is the deal breaker. The venomous substance is a neurotoxin that immediately halts the prey's ability to move and breathe, so it goes without saying that if you come across one of these sly boys in the water, it brings bad news. Number 9. The Cone Snake Do not be fooled by the timid appearance of this cone snake. This innocuous looking creature is actually one of the ocean's deadliest ever discovered creatures, and if you know half of what's creeping around down there, you'll know that that's one heck of a title to hold. Cone snails live inside a beautiful shell made of warm brown colors with black and white patterns. You would hardly suspect the snail to be harmful in any way because look at it. However, the deadly secret it holds on the inside is its swift and potent predatory system. That's right, this snail is a predator, and a pretty darn good one at that. Here's how the system works. Once the cone snail senses prey, it deploys a sharp needle-like protrusion from its mouth and it immediately stings. Once the venom it carries seeps into your body, you won't even feel a thing. That's not a good thing, don't get confused. This lack of sensation is only the beginning of your problems. There is no anti-venom yet, and your only hope is to find medical assistance and stop the venom from spreading. Although deaths are rare because humans are not particularly tasty to them, they do happen. So next time, think long and hard before you pick up that pretty snail in the water. Number 8. Rogue Wave if you're going to be spending a nice warm day by the sea, it's best we prepare you for all you need to know. The waters can be calm and soothing just to sit there and watch the waves crash ever so gently against one another. It's nice, but this force of nature can easily turn around and become ugly and not so nice. Remember when we said it feels like nature is out to get us? Rogue waves, also called freak waves, monster waves, killer waves, you get the drift, are unusually large and unexpected surface waves that can be extremely dangerous. One moment, you're playing in the water enjoying the gentle push of the waves, and the next, you're fighting to stay above water as the waves slam you around like a rag doll. Do you really want to go back in that water? Number 7. Stingrays before we proceed, I would like to inform you that one of these was the culprit that took out the eccentric Australian crocodile hunter back in 2006 in Bat Reef, Australia. Stingrays are generally easygoing as humans are not their preferred taste, but when stepped on, they quickly change that narrative. Now you might say, well that's easy, I just won't step on anything. Well, that handy life hack would have been great if these creatures were not so darn concealed. They often bury themselves in the ocean floor, leaving you an unsuspecting swimmer with an open chance to step on them, get stung, and experience some of the world's most excruciating pain. It really does hurt that bad. Number 6. Rising Sea Level Over the decades, as the human race has continued to populate, Mother Earth seems to get much angrier with each passing era. Now, more than ever, the form and nature of the Earth has been altered so much that even the waters of the Earth are now waging war against its people. 
many unforeseen occurrences could happen if you were to be caught in deep waters, which were supposed to be not as high. Many places in the world experience some shocking tides during specific periods of the year, and sometimes alterations occur unexpectedly, drowning several people playing in the supposedly calm waters. What can we say? Nature can be unpredictable. Number 5. The Great Barracuda Great Barracudas are large predatory fish that can be found in subtropical regions all over the world. Plus, they are extremely ugly. Look at this thing! These species are voracious predators that ambush their prey while hunting before they attack. Thankfully, human flesh is not the first on their menu, but they do get extra attracted to shiny objects. So pieces of jewelry, maybe a necklace, an anklet, or something else that is basically shiny can make these horrid beasts attack. And believe me when I tell you this is painful, because it really is. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodile It would be utterly disrespectful to talk about the marine world without talking about these bad boys. Saltwater crocodiles, or salties as some people like to call them, are classic opportunistic predators. This means that they lurk patiently beneath the surface of the water near the edge, waiting for something, anything, to even get close. And then snap! The attack comes faster than you can even think. They will feed on anything they can snap their jaws on. Monkeys, humans, wild boar, buffalo, and get this, even sharks! Isn't that incredible? These big ol' meanies are even more terrifying because they are excellent predators in water and on land. If it swims like a croc and walks like a croc, chances are you're in for a terrible ride. Number 3. You can't breathe. Alright, alright, hear me out first. Would you take a look at us? Why is the water dangerous? Because you can't breathe. You might be wondering why this very, very obvious fact has been chucked out of the realm of the obvious and onto this list of 10 dangers of the sea. Well, it seems that many people do not understand the complications of going into the water to swim. Experts have proved through research that most drowning accidents happen a whole lot with a high percentage of them occurring in open water. That's oceans, lakes, rivers, and the like. What could be a quiet day at the seaside could quickly turn ugly if an amateur swimmer were to be caught splashing around in an unexpected turn of events. As a matter of fact, even professional swimmers have been caught in the crossfires, or shall we say crosswaters, of the sea, and many did not live to tell the tale. Look, all we're saying is Mother Nature chooses when she wants to be vicious, and it turns out that all the massive bodies of water can be her greatest weapon. Now it's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent to us by a subscriber. If you find a picture that you would like to know more about, make sure to send it over. You might be lucky enough to get it in our next video. Number 2. Megalodon. You might have paused and said, what? But you just hold on and hear what we're about to say. The Megalodon was one of the largest predators to have ever lived on our good earth. And we say was because thankfully it has gone extinct. The Megalodon was not only the biggest shark in the entire world, but it was also the largest fish it had ever known. And believe me, the Earth has been around a long time and has known a many great things. The Megalodon was so large that the animal could grow up to 15 to 18 meters in length, which is more than three times longer than the largest great white shark ever recorded. You know how humongous that must have been? Anyway, thankfully, the Megalodon is all gone, but its descendants, or cousins, the great white sharks, are still very much around and carrying on their ancestors' good work in causing destruction and chaos. Great whites are known to be a very aggressive species, known for their unmistakable killer teeth and large size. You just gotta know, these things really are out there. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Box Jellyfish Side note, these are not the same harmless but annoying jellyfish from Spongebob that had a strong affinity for music. You might be wondering how these squishy, slithery, transparent, harmless looking creatures made it past salties, sharks, and even stingrays. Well, as a wise man once said, the strength is not in the size. The box jellyfish is the ultimate underwater predator that you would never expect. Think about it, it's flexible, transparent, and somewhat pale bluish color underwater, which makes it almost invisible to nearly everyone. 
However, this invisibility is only a small part of this creature's wicked charm. There is a whole lot more in store. Box jellyfish are typically found in warm coastal areas like northern Australia. Of course, Australia has these. It's Australia, the Indo-Pacific, and Singapore waters. A sting from a box jellyfish is so extremely painful that it can lead to severe hypertension, extreme lower back pain, nausea, cardiac, and respiratory arrest. And let me tell you what, once the heart and lungs start to cave, it's game over. And what's even worse is that you can't even see a thing. The best way to avoid these horrid creatures, which have more deaths than the great white sharks and salties combined, is to stay out of the water. That's right folks, stay out of it. I guess that is kind of what we've been trying to say, but let's not be too forward about these things. With all that being said, here's where we say goodbye until our next video. Thanks for stopping by and sticking around. Make sure to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. Until later, adios!